Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to my channel, this is Andy and today's video is going to be um, uh, a few clips from five days of me and one of my friends to um, in, your, in the making of 70 tote bags. It's an order from a client and this client is a company and they're um, I think they're going to give it away to their clients. So 70, 70 pieces of tote bags and 40 pieces will be linen um, bags and the 30 pieces will be upcycled bags made from curtains. Um, the only reason why that's, you know, it could have been upcycled, the whole thing could have been upcycled, but I don't have enough um, upcycled fabric and because they've only given me five days to finish this project then I don't have you know I don't have the time to go searching for curtains and all that so yeah I'm gonna use my um, linen fabrics and then mix it with um, the curtains that I I was able to get from an old customer of mine and so yeah this video is just gonna be a combination of few clips from different days um, you know from embroidery cutting the fabric sewing the bag sewing the handle putting the labels and box you know packaging it up and ready to go so yeah it's it's not gonna be a very long video um, probably 20 minutes and if you're interested to know how I did it and, you know, um, what machines I've used for this, um, then watch the video. And again, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you like it. So let's get started. So here I've surged the edge and then turned it inside out and now I'm gonna sew um, a little bigger than the surged allowance so if that's quarter of an inch I'll make it a bit bigger just so it hides it and then do that all, uh, all three sides and then turn it inside out and it will become like this where that's the inside seam and then that's your outer and then you just need to iron it put the handle here and then that's that's the bag that's that's how easy this this bag is and with my industrial machine it goes up to 3600 or 3700 per minute stitch per minute and it's so fast so i can finish this in no time. 
Okay, I'll show you. Let's see how I can make sure the camera. I can't really. See how fast that goes. There you go, one down and 69 more to go. So I've put the handle and now I'm just gonna have to sew all the way around. Also, this is the time where I put my tags, my little tags. I'm gonna use this, these ones. And I actually put it right to this corner here. Hi everyone, um, it's day three and I need to organize the room first so I get a space to actually work. everyone it's day five four no 
not sure now, but um, my friend came to help me and we managed to sew all of it. So now we're just gonna clean it up, snips all, snip all the threads, uh, make sure um, the back, the fabric, the back um, of where it's embroidered is tidy. And we're just gonna tag them one by one. So I have this sustainable tag and this upcycled tag. So um, I have two because, but they look very similar because one is upcycled. Uh, there's 30 pieces upcycled from curtain and there's 40 pieces um, not upcycled. They are 100% linen and they are sustainable. So that's what I'm putting on them. And yes, we are almost there. And um, I have one more day and it's the deadline. Need to deliver it. Yeah, we keep going. I'm sure tomorrow, um, you know, when I, the next day, um, I will just need to finalize everything, make sure they're tidy, pack them all in a box. I'll show you that and then send them their way. morning it's um, I think it's the fifth day and it's the last day today I um, have someone here helping me at the Janice at the say hi, hi. <laughs> and there's the other helper say hello, hello. <laughs> yeah so here we have everything well we have finished everything. It's just um, ironing and making sure they're nice and tidy. And then they're going to go into this Amazon box because I don't have a big box to fit them all in. So again, we finished 70 bags. And um, that, of course, with Ate Janice's help. And here are the others. It's nice. And now I've put the labels there. And then here's the linen, and also it says Hamid will love 100% linen, Andy the maker. Yeah! Everybody, so I'm packing individually, making sure my tags show. That is very important. So I'll put these inside and make sure to snip the threads if I see any. Yeah, so goes inside the handles. Then fold it in three or maybe two. Actually, maybe two is fine. Then fold it that way. And then fold it that way. That goes. Or maybe I could do three instead. A bit smaller. There. One, two, and then 
three. And that's where the tag goes. And then this, just wrap around it once. And then that should be it. There you go. And these last ones I'm going to put on a different box. Oops. And hopefully it will all fit. I believe it will. definitely will so here's my last few ones perfect so I've got these three boxes and is the other one all ready to go Right, so we made 70 bags in five days. I cannot believe it. We actually did it. So it's it's all boxed up, ready to go. And I'm excited to hear um, the feedback from my customer. I always love, um, you know, listening to feedback, you know, most mostly the good ones. But we we also need the bad ones to help us improve, of course. Um, yeah, so um, if you're wondering how much I've um, sold these bags, they're sold at a very affordable price because it's um, bulk. Usually I would increase the price because it's, you know, it's a very small time frame. But I don't know, I just felt for, for this, for this project, I didn't, I didn't increase the price at all. So in dollars, maybe each bag is about, um, say, $12 each bag. So, yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, $12 each bag. And that that's all. Uh, I used webbing, cotton webbing, as you saw from, you know, few clips you saw. I used webbing for the handles. I even run out of webbing. So for the upcycle bag, instead of using one inch webbing, I used uh, one and a half inch. So it's a bit wider, but it works perfectly. You know, the, the fabric is a bit thicker. It, it just makes sense, you know, for it to have a thicker handle. Although it would have been better if I had, I had it all uniform. But you know, sometimes it happens. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you like it. And if you have any video suggestions, please comment down below. And if you have any questions at all, um, you know, maybe you've seen a product or a machine that you want to know about and just let me know in the comment um, section. I'll definitely read it and try my best to reply to you all. Thank you again for supporting this channel and be kind to everyone. See you on the next one.